Hey Pete, congratulations. Congratulations for what? Coming out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Darn you, Robbie. <laughs> Darn you. <laughs> Got him. Stool Scenes, episode 26, part two. I gotta say, I'm very grateful to have Jim Rome on my show today, as well as a guy named Rome. Yeah, definitely check out for that series, uh, Rome on Rome, while we roam through Rome. Uh, it's coming out soon, but yeah, I'm as excited to be here as anyone. Ha! My man, that was just a palin. Drone. Very nice. Wow. That's, that's all you need from me, Jim. I mean, we got a real problem here. Free ads flying everywhere. And none other than the COO, Brett Merriman, just giving them out like candy. You, <laughs> you did it in your Instagram. But you gave, you gave them out, you said. I, I just like, I got a, I had a bunch of clothes here. I was just like, here, anybody want a shirt? I wasn't like, hey, wear this, because it's promoted by Yeah, but I mean, it's like you give out your buddy's shirts to the company, eventually they wear it. Now, it's unlike school scenes, like, what is that brand? We're not in the business of promoting Brett. Fucking Merriman's friends' clothing companies. Totally we have our own shirt, clothing company. Like What's the color? It, it doesn't matter. We have baby blue down there, too. Okay. Not, we not we have roll baby blues. We have a shirt. <laughs> not that low. Oh. Not Brett's friends company, no. That's a good gig, though. Like, be friends with office manager Brett. I'll hand out all the merch. Everyone will wear it. And then it's like a real fucking good gig. Yeah, what you do? My buddy said a shirt, so I just had a pile of shirts right here, so I said, here, grab a shirt if you want one. Brett's promoting his friend's clothing company. Yeah. Brett. We're trying to come up with a new brand. Brett has it. Can we Adidas? Adidas? No, it's this other thing. Frankie Duga. Frankie's wearing it? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. I just like the color. I'll, give me tape. Just tape it up. It's literally a logo. It's just a shirt with like a string. You guys are making this a lot of money. Yeah, it's pretty sure. Where'd those come from? Oh, shit, look at this. Did you get a big mouth? Love it. I did not get the top of the mouth. Right, you got a medium? Right, you have to be able to laugh at this place. He's got a lot of this place. He's broken. He's broken. Oh, no. There it is. I mean, what are you talking about? Oh, no. It's not good. What does it say? It's Brett promoting. Uh, this it's is on Summit Clothing Company I was a, Instagram. It's a DM to my friend. Summit in the Barstool office. Thanks for the gear, homie. With Brett wearing it in front of the Barstool flag with the logo. Not the best. Not the best. I mean, this place is gonna be as big as Adidas in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that shirt? This, is, this hurts. I mean, it's Carolina Blue. I think fucking Kale's gonna get you as much Carolina Blue as you want. Sir, clothing company? No. Brett's company is doing an underground clothing He started by the way. Brett's starting like a Brett's podcast network, clothing company. Yeah. 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 He's got booking. I just, I just like, I mean, I don't like the company. I don't like what they stand for. I don't like anything about it. I just like the shirt. Where are these coming from? Brett had a box shipped in. I did not have a box. Like that size box. I don't know. These are all samples, for what he's going to sell for Ball Is this also a summit? Saturday's Cream Boys? That's a good slogan. Yeah. Really? Oh, Brett. <laughs> I ordered one shirt, my buddy, because I know him. He sent me like, he sent me, like 10 shirts. Yeah, he's a smart summit, guy. Summit I have somebody I can get the weasel free advertising that most companies would have to pay a lot of money for. And I'll, Brett will hand them out. Everybody will wear them, and then it'll be all over our videos. It's a, he's smart. You probably have equity in it, but whatever. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on fucking Merriman. Merriman's like the guy, he's almost like KFC too. He's the guy like you know is a problem. And if you don't like do something about, in five years you're gonna be answering to him. At least Kevin's on board. No, he's definitely not a fan of free ads. Ha! Cut that guy's vast deference off. I don't do free ads for like, like I don't do free ads. Like, if I choose, I would not do an ad. Being like these are these are these blue shoes that I'm wearing are for 
We don't do that here. They looked great. What if another company like send you a bunch of them? I mean, like, uh, you know, I'm just trying to get the word out for They're a small time shop and like they're doing these little, you know, sneakers here and there. Just like, hey, for the little people. It's not really an ad. It's just a shout out to one of the small, small companies in the world. So go on record. What about if they've sent you any cool shoes that you really like? I will not tweet about any size shoes that you send to my desk. There will not be any tweets about You will not see them at all on stool scenes at my desk with my feet up. That will not happen. There will be no reference to your sneakers. Again, size That will not happen. And for the record, I am also a size And it will happen if you send it. And I don't care about this job, so I'll just fucking promote anything to my 85,000 I didn't use it in the back of the Wow. Those look cool. I will not wear while rocking I will not. That will not happen, my friend. There will be no reference to anything other than barstool gear. Certainly not shirts. So if certainly not none of that. Not happening. There will be none of that on any barstool products at all. And Kevin, one more quick question: If we can't get them sent to us, like you. Where's a good place to buy like some new shoes? You could go to Stadium Goods. You can go to stadiumgoods.com. You can use the promo code KFC and buy any of these shoes that will not be talked about on any Barstool Airways at all. So you won't do any of those free ads? Not happening. Okay. Not here. I'm, I'm a man of integrity. I'm a businessman first. That's what Dave Portnoy taught me. It's a big deck. I'm leaving these peons, these peasants. Selling out, becoming corporate goalie. Go to the corner house. I said I wanted to sit next to you because this is how you control the story. Once there's a narrative, you can get to the narrative quick and right. knock it down. Is he welcome in that office? Is that true? So I have you because Francis is a bitch about his business. Jared's taking his desk. How's the new office? Our new office together? Because Francis can't figure out to sit in the closet like Donnie. Can we get a quick like cribs really fast? This looks like... Oh, okay, Cole, you give the crib for off. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. That's our dog, uh, Robert. These are our various flags. We're going to get a mixtape flag in here soon. Uh, that's Erica's desk. This is. Uh, There's Coley's desk. Yeah. There's Coley's <laughs> stuff. This is my mug. Nice. Uh, um, I haven't been in here yet when Erica needs to have one of these high level meetings that I'm not privy to, so that's going to be a fun. Like, right, 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 like right, right, right now? now? You're right now. Huh? Super high level. Yeah. Right. You look great. Yeah, natural. <laughs> the suit it's really good. You should be a puffy shirt guy all the time. All instead of a Hawaiian shirt guy. I can wear this hat. It's kind of tight on the neck, but I still feel good. Now, as we covered in part one of episode 26, a lot of haters coming out of the woodwork saying Barstool doesn't have diversity? Yeah, what's more diverse than a vertically challenged man from Zimbabwe? Ha! My man, Jay Stu, cut all the lines in Mozambique. We're West Zimbabwe. All the way, my man. Za? Go, press go. King of the beach. Fuck Rosenberg. Julie from Zimbabwe. Your crowd is more diverse than you think. No Let's way. Go. You're not stringing. No chance this kid's from Zimbabwe. They don't have I phones in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. What's the area that's code right, here? That's she needs. Yeah. All right, yeah. send, send a picture then to Coley at Barstool Radio, Zimbabwe. Yeah, and don't be white. I need proof of life. He's I need got, you. He's got a Tampa, Tampa area <laughs> Tampa code. Bay area code from, from Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe via Tampa. From okay, Zimbabwe. bro. From Zimbabwe. What? I'll send it in. All right, send it in. I believe, I, I, I believe that guy one million percent. I, I need, like, date and time, time on the picture. You think, you think it's true? I think he was born there and he lives in Tampa now, which is, seems like a downgrade, if we're being honest. <laughs> send it. Send <laughs> the picture. You. <laughs> what what right, countries? All right, what country borders Zimbabwe? Zambia to the north, Mozambique to the north. Oh, oh, Although, to be honest, that could be totally made up. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Like, you, you wouldn't have to be able to start yet. Well, <laughs> no, but, he said it, but he oh, said it, it so out, quickly. Checks it checks out. Checks yeah. out. Oh, yeah. He said it so quick. Zambia. Get this, Rosenberg. There's no white people in Zimbabwe, right? You got to be black, right? 
I'm, I'm black as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right. Black as hell, nigga, too. Four foot, four foot five giant. Fucking right. Frankie, put this guy on the list. We'll invite him to a Super Bowl party. He'll be the only black guy in Minnesota okay. outside the players. Let's go. go get him. Go, Fred, go. That's why you're my guy. <laughs> love it. Love it. I, that, that is something I never, ever thought would happen. Yeah, love go it. Go, press go from Zimbabwe. <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> the Zimbabwe guy is also a midget. What? A legit midget? Oh, I'm looking at the picture. Awesome. <laughs> He's wearing a Zimbabwe, like, soccer shirt. Yeah. Go, press go. It took quite a while, like, hand <laughs> I mean, that's two birds, one stone. Dude, there's no way that's real. Let's edit it. What do you mean there's no way that's real? How could that be fake? I don't know. It's just a, yeah, he so searched like Zimbabwe. Yeah. And well, how's he and, holding and the Photoshop sign? Photoshop the Go Prez Go sign into it. I don't know. That is two is birds, this? one stone. He just tweeted. Well, he just tweeted at Barcelona. Holy! Tell him to tweet a video to see if it because <laughs> you can't edit that as much. You don't think that there's a chance that that's fake? No. That, that guy's a unicorn. Uh, you think that just he, what, he started a Twitter account called That Midget Zimbo? <laughs> <laughs> just right now? And, and, and back When's his first that? tweet? Look how long his first tweet He joined in 2010. This guy oh. is legit. Wait, wait. Look at this cocky Twitter avatar. This fucking guy. Uh, the dude from Zimbabwe yesterday. We debated whether he was real or not. He was of non-believers. You, you know, Coley did not debate. He knew right away that this dude was from Zimbabwe. He believed him. He, this guy, was able to drop all the bordering countries, Mozambique, Mozambique, and, and uh, Zambia, and Zambia to the south. <laughs> and we were all like, okay, that's the real deal. We find him on Twitter. Not only is he the real deal from Zimbabwe, he is a midget. He is a, <laughs> a legit black African midget. Who is, loves Barstool. Loves Barstool. So fuck you, Peter Rosenberg. Fuck the haters. We got black African midgets who rep the stool and stars. All right, bro? And he, he reps hard. Did like you he, see? He did an emergency press conference. Da 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 Music. Real quick emergency press conference. I didn't want to do this, but the peanut gallery was chirping, and they were asking for an emergency press conference, so I had to address the issue. Bagel gate. First things first. Happy birthday, young Ali Gobs. Shout out to you. I'm a noodle. I got up at 4 a.m. this morning. Everybody knows that. I had to catch a flight to New Jersey. I'm here in New Jersey. Got here at 9. I was stuck in a chemistry lab for two hours. Powered through that shit on an empty stomach. Got out of that chemistry lab. I was like, all right, I'm hungry. Since I'm in the Northeast, I'm going to do a Northeastern thing and I have a bagel. Northeastern friends always tell me about, oh, Florida has no food. The food in the Northeast is so much better. The water down here in Florida makes the bagels so bad. So I had high expectations, to be honest. I had high expectations. I went to ask what the best bagel store in New Brunswick was. Went to it, forgot what it's called, but went to it. Had an everything bagel with plain cream cheese. One bite score, four. It was a four. 4.5 at best. So news flash to all my Northeastern friends. Ali Gobbs, I'm looking at you. Matt, I'm looking at you. Your shit isn't that great. I don't want to ever hear you chirping about Florida. I would rather, you know what? It was so bad, I would rather have a bagel from Einstein's. I would rather have a chocolate chip bagel with strawberry cream cheese from the Einstein's at the University of Tampa. That's how bad it was. Newsflash, reconsider your lives. Food's not great. Music. Da -da. Da -da. There's pictures of him like in Africa, in huts, rocking barstool gear. This guy is as diehard of a stool as you get. Sign him, Right? Sign I mean, him, sign him, he sign might him, have a job him. here by the end of the fucking week. I want him. Yeah, I said yes. I man. want him. <laughs> like it's a fucking puppy. <laughs> I want him. Yo, this guy is right up our alley. He checks boxes. This guy, <laughs> <laughs> he checks boxes. A lot of them. We got my man, I think it's, I think his name, I think he just goes by Za. I would go Zay. Zay? Okay. Well, either way, he's the mission from Zimbabwe. How about that? Uh, my man, can you first of all clarify exactly how to pronounce your name? Zataina. Well, we're going to need a, a nickname there. I go, I go, I go by Za, though. Okay, Za. Uh, Boy, I, I really wish that Portnoy was here today just to try to make him pronounce it your full name. Oh, man. That would be unbelievable. Oh, yeah, we'll you are a grassroots man. You're supporting the cause. Oh, what? yeah. Since, since, since about 2014, 2015. I mean, I was a little slow on it because I. I came here 2010, but I wish I wish I was run, around back in the back in the old school days. What do you do? Um, I'm I actually just graduated. You know what? 
I'm headed up. I'm headed up to to, to New Jersey. Uh, oh, here we go. This is how it I'm starts. I just graduated. Come here. I'm gonna be up in the <laughs> Northeast. Come here. Yo, can you you want to come by headquarters? On my brother's couch. You know, looking for a gig. Resting on my brother's couch while I'm at it. You have you have to at the very least uh, come by, and you also probably you audition. When. You tell me when. When you get to yeah. New Jersey, you don't stop at your brother's house. You come right Keep here. Going. Going right to the office. What, when when are you coming? To, when are you coming up? So I'm, I'll be up there tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, oh <laughs> fuck yeah! All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I, I was gonna say <laughs> that. Like, well, come you, here you tomorrow. I fly, I fly. I fly tomorrow. Okay, as soon as you get settled and you're able to go somewhere, come to Barcelona HQ. I can come in Monday. Yes, yep. sure. Yes. Will, will, Pres, will Pres be there? Uh, you never know. He'll probably he fly sh- back to to see you. If yeah. we if we tell him that you're coming, he he might he might cancel all his plans. <laughs> All right. So so any anytime next week, Monday, Tuesday, whenever you get all, all of the days, all next five yeah, days. Literally, I will clear the schedule, bro. <laughs> Whatever you want. The picture of him for Halloween dressed as Kiss. Oh, I didn't see no that. No way. It's like three that. like normal fucking you know like I said frat boys, and he's he's the fourth member. That's and he's decked out. out with the tongue, the makeup, the whole shebang. Uh, I bet you he didn't even like know <laughs> what it was, who There's it was. No like, way. here you go, dude. This dude is special. Yes. This guy is talented. Right. And smart. And he's a stoolie. All a finance aside, major? Come on. All jokes aside, I really think that he's like, he could do content here. I, I he seems to be like, re- like, but, I don't think but, anyone disagrees. No, but but more than just like, <laughs> I'm the, the African midget. Like, he sounds like he really like understands or bar stool and gets floor. it and shit. Yeah, he's Maybe. In finance. Yeah. CFO. Him Imagine if like our CFO, like see you later, Resnick. <laughs> Erica, we got Za. Erica and Za just stroll into meetings together. <laughs> Yo, you honestly, you want to come at Barstool and we have a CEO who's a white woman and a CFO who's a black African midget. We are bulletproof. <laughs> yeah. We are oh. untouchable. That Talk is the dream us. team tag team right there. At the very least, he's gonna end up replacing Brett. <laughs> Bare the minimum. Very yeah. least. Now, two people that don't disagree very often found themselves in disagreement. Nate was sick, supposedly on his deathbed, and Smitty saw a Snapchat of him playing at the park with his dog and didn't think that was a smart move. He wants him to be sick when he's sick. Just lie in bed and be sick. Don't go taking care of animals. Ha! My man, if I ever took a day off from the jungle, which I never would, I sure as heck would not be in a dog with a park. Oh no. That was the last gun of the bullet. Uh, so Nate, it's Tuesday right now. Yesterday, Nate called out, said he was basically on his deathbed. Uh, filled with antibiotics, is tweeting up a storm, how sick he is, and wild. Okay, it takes a sick day. Tuesday now, uh, still out, but uh, I guess the parks a good uh, place to go when, uh, when you're sick. I don't know. Snap, don't lie, Nate. Good, what'd you do yesterday? You had the coming soon question over here? Yeah. If I'm homesick, am I allowed to take my dog out? Yes, but I heard you were playing frisbee. Well, the dog has to run around. Were there other people in the video city? My roommate took the dog out. Why, why, why did he judge him when he put on his own Snapchat? I don't see how it's Why didn't the roommate take the dog for the walk? He did. I went with him. <laughs> if I'm homesick and I want to get out of the house for the first time since Sunday, do I have permission to go to <laughs> go outside with the dog? <laughs> asking permission. <laughs> I'm glad Smitty's on top of it, but I'm just asking her. You put it on your own Snapchat. What do you have to do with any of this? Why can't I put it on my Snapchat? It was a great catch by the dog with the first beat. I'm not, was a great catch. I'm not like, I don't see what the big deal is. I'm an adult who can take the dog out anytime I please. Am I in the clear for taking the dog out? I want this question if you're sick. As long as Smitty stays on top of it. I was here at work. Wow. Just saying. Okay. Made a good dude, but you are captain overbearing when it comes to everyone else. Yeah, you did two vlogs in four days. <laughs> but God forbid the dog goes outside. That's a small. That's a good one. I love vlog numbers. Nate, when Alexis Ren makes another Instagram. I'll be sure to vlog it. Yeah, free vlog. How many? Did you really do two in four days? Is that true? Uh, or is he yeah, sensational? Two days. I got a big golf tournament coming up this Saturday, which raised like twenty thousand dollars for charity. It's one of the biggest events Barstool does. Shit kind of the pool. <laughs> so to that. Also, <laughs> does the meetings in and out, like trying to develop a video game show and stuff. But I mean, 
with Alexis Wren as an Instagram post, and I gotta say how hot she is, an 18 year old, for the 40th time in two weeks. I gotta make sure someone's on top of it. Oh, Thanks for being on top of me, Nate. I appreciate it. And after Barcel had absolutely answered the bell with a midget from Zimbabwe, what do we do? I don't know. Add in an 80 year old man with sticky nuts? We're not ageist here, we include all ages. Ha! My man, that is whack. If you want to go down to Woodstock or Burning Man or whatever festival you like, peel your balls somewhere else. Jay Stu, cut this guy's line. We got Ralph who wants to talk about sleeping with clothes on. What's up, Ralph? How are you? I'm good, Ralph. Okay, listen. Um, I remember as a kid, my father never wore clothes when he slept, okay? Oh, and trouble. I oh, wore okay. shorts. <laughs> And pajamas when, when my my parents went to visit somebody, aunts, uncles, whatever. Anyway, once I, I lived on, basically on my own, I always went to bed naked. So you say, gee, why? Well, every once in a while I have the grandchildren around or something, I got to wear my shorts. And I got the baby in bed with me, uh, seven, eight months old or whatever. And I wake up and my nuts are totally sweaty, stinky. Excuse like, me, sir. Excuse me, sir. What the fuck? <laughs> How the fuck can you sleep with shorts on? You you would be in I'm bed with, with the seven month old with your stinky nuts. I'm, no, no, I'm with my wife. The wife brings the baby in bed. Well, before she brings the baby in bed, she says, "Grandpa, put some shorts on." So I put the shorts on, and the baby's spending the night with us. So by morning, I'm a sweaty pig. Do you understand? Got it. Now I, I've, now I got you, Ralph. Grandpa, Ralph, I'm, I'm with some you. shorts on. Can I get it on a T-shirt? Uh, <laughs> Grandpa, Ralph, I'm with on. you, man. I feel you on this one. No, it's true. If I fall asleep in the afternoon and I got my clothes on, I wake up sweaty. And my wife says when I, when I go to sleep, I end up being a furnace. And, man, I'm telling you, I've had more rashes from sleeping with, with clothes on. I just can't handle it. Uh, uh, I got a, a follow-up question to Ron's question. Sure. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, are you uh, a Barstool fan? Uh, this is the first time I've ever been on your show. I, I, first time I've heard it. Do you know who Barstool Sports is, or did you just find it because you're li listening to Rush 93 on Sirius XM? No, I went down until I heard somebody that interested. I got interested in the conversation. <laughs> I love it. I well, welcome to the yeah. show, Frankie. Can I get a new listener noise? Welcome! <laughs> We're excited We're, to have you. Uh, we, can I ask a question? I live in Canada, too, guys. Oh. So good to have you, okay. friend. Um, Where at? It's like 15 below in the winter, and I cannot sleep with clothes on. And Sorry. My wife just loved because she said no matter when I go to sleep, I get really warm. So, Sir, do your nuts know. ever get stuck to your leg when you're sleeping in the nude? You're saying how hot no. you get. Your wife calls you a furnace, so your nuts don't get stuck to your leg. No, I don't know. When I'm naked, I don't get sticky. Really? <laughs> yeah, huh. I'm I fascinated. I it up, and i got to get a pair of pliers to peel my nuts off my thigh. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just crazy. You, sir, are a national treasure. You are, sadly, a different nation. You are the pride <laughs> of Canada, bro. That, that Ralph. Can you, know, you keep listening to us? I just want to know you're out there. Can you just keep calling? Yeah, I, every day. I, I need knowledge from you every single day, sir. Just to give you a taste of what a riveting Friday in the office looks like with about seven people here, we take you to the whistle room. Yeah, does anyone even freaking work around here? Ha! Clones. This is the, uh, the whistle room on the second floor. No, no, I go. No, I, it's easier to inhale for me, but I, I, I can blow up too. Give it. Are you guys not going to give the whistle a try? I don't think I can. I can't like whistle doesn't like that. This is crazy to me that you guys came in here and just whistled. Yeah, me, Nate, and Frankie came down here and were whistling away for about forty-five minutes. <laughs> not as good. Because all the clothes are like deadening your whistle sound waves. Yeah, the whistle room is way better than this. Stool Scenes, episode 26, in the books. My man, you are totally trying to steal my shtick. What's next? Oxy eyes? Ha! <laughs> Looking like a bud addict loser. Go roll up a dime bag and have yourself a day. Ha! <laughs> clothes. P.
peel your ball sack off the ground and light some frying pan eggs. I'm out, my man. I don't know. It's amazing. I was just I was thinking about <laughs> some things getting peeled off. I mean I'm a butt act right now, that's why. <laughs>